Hello guys, this is Good Lake, and this is a video which will tell you how to delete your Ubisoft account. As you may suspect by the fact that this video exists alone, it is not a trivial matter to get rid of one's Ubisoft account. It can take you as little as a couple of hours, and as much as multiple weeks. It all began one Sunday when this arrived to my inbox. As you can see, my inbox is quite clean. I explicitly chose not to get rid of any of the Ubisoft messages so I could keep track of them, but nothing else is here, because you could say my New Year's resolutions was get rid of all the stupid shit and crap that was spamming my email, and boy, it fucking worked. I'm just not sure which year's uh, resolution it was. Because I, all I remembered it was long time ago. It's been like three months, man. Like three months, 15 months. It's the same amount of time as far as I'm concerned. And by that I mean fucking ancient history. Fucking swear I was reading about a wall in China being built or something. And everyone knows how old that is. Anyway, they sent me this email to use up my 30 credits. The extremely high amount of 30 credits, sorry, club units. And, uh, I didn't want to use my club units. I don't know when I got them, but if I remember correctly, it was when one day they were giving away Driver San Francisco for free or something, and I turned it on for like five seconds, and my computer was still garbage and couldn't play it properly, so I turned it off after playing for a bit. Like, that alone should tell you that I don't even know. I don't even have the slightest understanding how fucking old this shit is. I decided I'm not gonna let it stand, and I'm not just gonna do something silly like unsubscribe, that's too easy. They'll find a reason to fucking email me one way or another, so I decided it's time to end this. I'm going to delete my Ubisoft account. Unfortunately, I had forgotten my Ubisoft account password, so I had to reset my Ubisoft account password. As you can see, I successfully changed my password, and then I filed a support ticket. Because the only fucking way to delete your fucking account is to go through accounts, Ubisoft account, account login issues, and type in, in their message, please delete my account. And if you're particularly pissed, you don't even have to write please. Now, as you can see, they were experiencing high contact volumes, which is basically another way of saying we didn't hire enough people to actually respond to everyone making requests in reasonable amount of time. But uh, whatever, I thought, well, they'll get to it eventually. But then something happened. Specifically, they started sending me emails about suspicious activity. Someone from Tunisia, Tun Tunisia, or Tunisia, I don't fucking know how to pronounce it, logged into my account. How is this even possible, you may ask? Well, the answer is simple. If you recall correctly, I changed my password. But I didn't change it to just any password. I changed it to my compromised password. Why would I do this? Well, it's a password that I specifically use for various accounts across the world where I just don't give a fuck. You know, I, I don't care about that account. So I just have to create it because of reasons. So I just put in my same shitty old instantly crackable, no special characters password in it. And presumably one of these websites in which I've made an account probably got hacked or just released their database information and they figured out the password that way. I even gotten like emails about, uh, let me show you, it's a scam email. Here's the email, some fucking asshole. It's, it's a lot less reasonably formatted than I remember it. Just ignore these lines, because they weren't there in the actual email. So basically, oh, I'm aware of your password, let's get to the point. 
blah, 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 blah. I will send... I've seen you watch porn on some website, and... Yes, you were watching videos, and I have a keylogger, and I hacked your camera, which doesn't exist because I don't actually have a camera on this computer, but that's besides the point. I also have your complete contacts that also don't actually exist. I don't have anyone on my contacts. The only people on contacts is that I have are random people that I've added throughout the times. Yes, yes, I've created a double video. First play, part displays the video you were watching. You've got fine taste. <laughs> Second part displays the view of your cam. Yeah, it's you. I mean, just, just think about the logic here, you know? Even if you accept that this is, like, true realistically, it's clearly a video that's edited together, so anyone could make such a video as long as they had the footage of a camera of you, I don't know, fucking jacking off or whatever. They could put any porn that they want. You wouldn't even need this, this fucking video. And for that reason, obviously, no one should ever consider even trusting such a thing, especially when it's clearly edited into two parts as you've made this. Anyway, I have two different possibilities, guys. First solution is to ignore this email message. Second solution is to compensate me with a bunch of dollars and uh, use Bitcoin. And, and if you don't know what this is, how to buy Bitcoin, you will... You know, if you're going to ask me to Google things, you, you wouldn't think that people would decide, hey, maybe I should Google this message or something related to it, or maybe I should Google my own email or password or something. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I'm just saying. Whoever did this obviously didn't think this through, but that's usually how these scams work, don't they? They, they, they exploit people who don't know any better. Anyway, th the point is that I picked the third option. I didn't ignore his message, and I actually responded to him without paying to it. He never considered that option, man. Oh, I, I fucking, fucking said, man, yeah, you, you gotta put that video up somewhere. I wanna s send me, send me a link, man. I wanna see that shit. I wanna see what you got on me. Maybe it's fucking good. Maybe I'll fucking jack off to myself, jacking off to something. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it, man. Anyway. More! Someone from China logged into my account for ultimate shenanigans, of course. Anyway, when I receive the horrible news about my account and privacy being invaded, I decided it's time to take matters into my own hands, and I sent another message, which unfortunately wasn't written here, but you can see it here, is uh, like this. Can you delete it already? Random people are logging into this account because I set this password to a compromised one. You're going to be responsible for whatever happens on this account, as I have unambiguously told you to delete it. Now, do it! Something along those lines. And then this wall of text appeared, and uh, the creator of this wall of text is Mr. Tom. Mr. Tom. Uh, I mean, I can't even begin to understand where am I supposed to start reading this to, like, get a good glimpse of what's going on. But I think this was his original intended message, maybe? No, that doesn't make sense. Like, maybe this is like a quick, short message that he wanted to send, but then he speaks of confirmation. Like, the way I thought is maybe he wrote down a message and realized, oh no, you need to confirm first, because this is what this talks about. So he rewrote it in a much more explicit, big manner. But I, I don't fucking know what happened here. Look, the, the point is, he tells me, you delete your account, you lose all your games, that I haven't bought a single one. The most I had is maybe that Driver San Francisco that they gave away, I think, at some point. If my memory serves correctly, even. I just, uh, I don't know, but I don't care. I, I haven't played that game probably for half a decade, and I don't care about it. In-game currency, oh yes, of course. Never purchase it 
will never purchase it. The only exception to that is Path of Exile, because they have some pay-to-win shit, and you gotta win in Path of Exile. What's the fucking point to play if you aren't even gonna win? That aside, uh, in, in like in Ubisoft, they don't do pay-to-win transactions. EA does it. Ubisoft doesn't do it. It's 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 too. They're too high class, you see. So I didn't buy jack shit, basically. And game kind of like DLCs. In my entire life, I've only bought DLC for something once instead of buying the actual game. And that was because the whole website was in Japanese and I didn't understand what the fuck I was doing. But the point is, obviously, if I had no games, I don't have any DLCs either. Count deletion is final and I'll get an email with this email once I confirm it. It will be sent to customer support team. Now, there's a little bit of a contradiction here because here he says... You know, right after this confirmation is sent, I will delete your account, which is what caused some confusion. But the reality is you need to confirm the email. Here's the email that they sent for me to confirm it. I clicked on the link and bam, wham. <laughs> no, it's not just suspicious activity. The, the email processed. I started waiting for the account to be deleted. Sometime later... Suspicious activity from United States of America. Hmm. Starting to get a little bit annoying, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yes. Anyway, once I had confirmed my uh, email, I actually sent uh, a message back to our friend Tom. I said, thanks, Tom. I hope we can get this deleted soon. I have clicked on the link in the email and it said all is verified. Great. Perfect. Excellent. I thought everything was going to get done in no time. Of course, that's not specifically what happened because what this email is telling me is that, hey, good like, I see that you requested personal assistance and we assume your issue has been resolved and have closed your ticket. As you can see, literally 15 minutes after I sent that, I actually logged in myself and my login to my own account was reported as suspicious activity. I shit you not. Suffice to say, even though they closed the ticket, they didn't actually close the account. I don't know why they do this, but, well, it upset me a little. I wasn't happy with the state of affairs, especially since my own logins were treated as suspicious. I thought that this will get extremely complicated. Then we have another suspicious activity from Malaysia. Because, yes, Malaysia. 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 Anyway, today I have decided enough is enough, and I decided I will tell them exactly what I'm going to do. So listen here. Hi, Tom. It's been almost a week, but the account still exists, as it became evident when I received more emails detailing suspicious activity. You told me you'd delete the account as soon as I confirmed the email. I did it, but it's still there. Why'd you lie to me, Tom? I trusted you to resolve this issue, and even gave you my thanks. Yesterday, I received an email about this case being closed. I thought it finally happened, but no, I was able to log in. I gave you the benefit of the doubt and thought that it might be some caching issue or whatever. But here I am, today, again. Well, not for much longer. I'm giving you one last chance. Delete this account in a span of one week. Based on the speed of a previous reply, this is a very generous deadline. If you do not do this, and next Thursday I am still able to log into this account, I will find your terms of service and break every single one of them until you ban this account. If the ban is not permanent, I will resume breaking those rules as soon as possible and repeat this procedure until one of the following happens. Number one, you delete this account. Number two, you permanently ban this account. Number three, your company is forced to shut down the service. For example, due to bankruptcy. Number four, I die. 
In this case, I will explicitly leave a clause in my will that all of my belongings will only be granted to those who agree to continue breaking the terms of service on this account until one of the other three events occur perpetually across all generations. If nobody will be willing to do this, all of my fortune will be invested into an organization which I will establish in my deathbed existing specifically for the express purpose of getting this account deleted. You have been warned. You only have yourselves to blame if you do not delete this account. P.S. The time limit is non-negotiable. And what do you know they fucking replied in an hour? Hello, the good like 13. Thank you for getting back to us. Please do not blame Thomas for the delay, as it is really not his fault. I would like to kindly inform you that after you validated the account, and by this giving us the permission to delete your account, your case gets back in the queue with all the other cases that we have, and not on Thomas's computer. Your case got back in the queue until it finally ended up on my computer today. After I finish writing my reply to you, I will personally delete your account, so you will not have to worry about inventing creative ways of breaking our terms of services. My sincere apologies for the delay. I will now take this account off your back. Have a great day, and as always, if you have any questions or need assistance with anything else, please do not hesitate to contact us. Best regards, Dayan, Ubisoft Support. Well, I gotta say, when they do their work, they're doing it right. I actually wanted to say that my issue has been resolved. I went to this here, and I entered my goddamn email. As you can see, it's here. And then, the wrong email provider. They nuked this account so badly that I can't even use my email to tell them that my account has been nuked appropriately. That's how good this account has been. This is fucking stellar. I love it. This, now this, is fucking support. Your Ubisoft account has been closed, your request has been taken care of, we're sorry to see you're leaving now because I was never there in the first place. Like I said, like six years or something, I didn't even touch it. But then you had to send me an email about my 30 whatever the fucks. And this, this unraveled before us. So what can I say? Well, if you want to delete your Ubisoft account, you're going to have to make a request there and keep badgering them about it. Then you'll get an email, you'll have to confirm it, and then eventually they'll close your case, and then you'll have to threaten that you'll start doing something bad with their terms of service, and then your account will be closed within the hour. Uh... It's a little bit convoluted. It's it's a little bit more difficult than just having a button that says, please close my account. But I mean, I guess since so many people are actually trying to get into these accounts, maybe it's actually quite reasonable that there is some kind of a process. <laughs> so random people can't just log in and delete your account. I don't think they would do that anyway. It's not in their interest, but... Uh just in case. Overall, I must say I'm not actually dissatisfied. I hope that the, the people out there had a good laugh, because if, if someone sent me this fucking email, I'd fucking fall off my fucking chair and couldn't stop crying from laughter for at least like five or ten minutes. I don't know. Maybe these... They, they seem to be good sports. I, I don't think that they seem very particularly upset with me. Very professional. So overall, I, I, I'd rate this very highly. So now hopefully you know how to delete your Ubisoft account. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.